The definition and concept of geek and nerd has evolved tremendously, not just in the last 10 or 15 years, but in the last 50. Today, we're gonna discuss how that evolution began. Where did geeks start? Where have they gone? And we're gonna answer the big question. Does the stereotypical geek or nerd even still exist? Today on State of the Multiverse. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna talk about the evolution of geekdom, how it started, where it's been, and the big question, does the real stereotypical geek even exist? All right, ladies, how do you feel about this? Well, I think the, at least geekdom kind of for me, it seems like it spawned out of being a nerd, which is um, somebody that's like very intelligent, but in like a technical field. So uh, mathematics, computers, science. So to me, it seems like it really started kind of back in the 50s when like computing really kind of started out. And it came from nerds. And like, like space and comic books. And right, stuff. right, right. So people just like those things started becoming bigger in our culture. And I, to me, that's where like geeks and nerds came from. I don't know where right. any geeks and nerds were born from, but I think <laughs> that, I mean, I assume a mommy and a daddy, but, um, <laughs> but I definitely agree, you know, that that's sort of where we're at now, at, at kind of expanding out what you're saying, that uh, nerds, to me, are someone who is absolutely passionate and thus also hopefully an expert in a specific field. Like basically that's what you mean when you say, I'm nerding out about something. You know? I don't think you necessarily have to be an expert, just like extraordinarily passionate about something. Like I know I'm not an expert in any of the things that I'm really passionate about, but well, you I still you nerd educate out. yourself about right. it though. You yeah. strive to constantly learn new things. There's like a level of a obsession, right? That yeah, comes it, with that. It definitely does take some kind of obsession to be a nerd. I and think. so, yeah, I mean, like, that kind of like gives you an authority. If you're not an expert, you're kind of like an authority, like you at someone. Least know. Yeah. yeah, and like your friends might refer to you as like that person who knows all about. Like my friends know I know a lot about vampires and vampire lore and mythology and and Buffy or like any I mean like I'm I can call myself an authority although there are bigger fans and there are experts and I'm not quite on that level yeah, yeah. so we can definitely in my opinion use the words need and, and uh, nerd and geek <laughs> interchangeably because geeks are often very knowledgeable about the subjects that they geek out about I know some people get very upset when people yeah. you know you say geek when you mean nerd or you say nerd when you mean geek but to me the 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 two words are very, very similar in their definition. It's semantics and like the vernacular now is like those two things are synonymous. So it's not, I don't know, I just don't find it that big of a deal. I think like, it's just a, a personal preference. Some people find it offensive to be called a nerd. Some people find it offensive to be called a geek. So I mean. Well, this fits perfectly in like the evolution of what that means. Like, is that even offensive anymore? Like this. It depends on who you are. Yeah, for sure. I think it does. And I think the etymology of what you said also plays into it somewhat too, because I think in a lot of people's minds, nerd was associated with that science computer type thing where well, obviously, the etymology of geek has nothing to do with what it is now, but <laughs> but maybe it has a little bit more of the subculture, like um, you know, because counterculture is in its own way always kind of like a cool thing. Mm -hmm. So, right. And I think this definitely ties back into the conversation that we had about nerd and geek stereotypes. On you know, it's not always preferable, you know, to be in that grouped into that category. Right. So, you know, when you get called a nerd or a geek, maybe f some people do take it offensively. I I don't. I think uh, the level of people taking it offensively has gone down nowadays because I think that it's become cool to be a nerd or to be a geek. Well, yeah, and I was going to say, like, it's kind of become our word now. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, we own this word. It's ours. Like, we could call ourselves nerds. We can call ourselves You geeks, can't call me a nerd. Though. But, like, you oh. know me. You can't just, yeah. Like, there's, I mean, there's a certain amount of, like, defensiveness. Like, no, I'm cool. And that's not you know those two things aren't mutually exclusive anymore right and so like that's part of the evolution of it like we've arrived at this place where um you know the status quo is what the, we made fun of like the 90s was really like big on making fun of the people who are like oh the popular kids so well, they were all the same and it, it was really great to be that one like interesting and weird yeah and like maybe you're Not a little quiet or, yeah and mm -hmm. that's what i think it's I become like totally it's so nice weird to be different school oh my god i was the weird kid <laughs> I went to a school where everybody was like, you know, the rich preppy people and here I am dressed in all black talking about playing, you know, D&D &D with my friends and playing video games, which was no, none of the girls played video games. No one I knew played video games. It was all the guys. And so most of my friends were guys. And yeah, that 
Yeah, it's like it's so it weird because you yeah. say that, and I'm like, that's just not that weird. Like that's just not right. that nerdy to me. Like, <laughs> it's us. It's yeah. not weird, but to normals. But it's, or it's whatever. Ch- what's changed? What's great? Like you guys, Wow has become like this. Like that oh that God. envelops so many like r- regular people. Right. Who yeah. They were had, involved with gaming. They, they even like the had the commercials explosion. with the um the celebrities and stuff. Yeah. Who played just people that you would not even believe. We were just talking about that the other day about like how Mr. T has the Mr. Yeah, T Mr. T. Grenades. Yeah. And he can just turn you into him. That's just, and wow. Well, yeah. Like, so I mean, like, this is what's awesome is like the evolution has become like we're we're creating a norm and like video games more and more popular with more and more topics. Like they're not all just like RPGs or like. I don't necessarily agree that it's kind of awesome. Um, <laughs> personal opinion, and I know this is terrible because it's nice to have people to talk to, but I think that and this totally makes me sound like a hipster. I think that a lot of the stuff that we were really passionate about, or at least me personally, has now become like so mainstream that it kind of the whole point of it gets lost. Do you feel like well, it's I don't still it's buried? Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's not what it used to be. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't think that. No. Um, <laughs> because, yeah. because it's it, it is it's still what it's and it's going to be better because now you're going to have like more people contributing to the type of projects that you enjoy with games and and you're going to have more innovation and you're going to have more selection more variety like this is this is good right like, but the, isn't there a such thing as too much well like, everybody's doing it all at once like zombie movies I love zombie movies but once people decided they were popular everybody did them now they're overdone it's a quality versus quantity thing I yeah mean, I, uh, but i got i get what sam's saying i get what you're saying ariana i think that there it's like it's a balance it's like yes it's nice that we have more options now and we have the ability to to sort of delve into it but taking my stuff man i know so then let's touch on very quickly do we think that the nerd stereotype do nerds still exist or is it just mainstream i don't well, I mean, I'm no. sure that they are out there. <laughs> I just don't know that they would identify themselves as a nerd for because of what we now consider nerds. I think that would mean that the true nerd doesn't exist anymore. Well, I, I say true nerd, meaning stereotypical nerd. I believe I am very stereotypically a nerd, and I exist. So I'm going to disagree with you, but <laughs> <laughs> that is all the time that we have for this discussion. Uh, Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button below, like this video, and check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash theapocalypsegirls.